Child labor, child soldiers. Listen to this. In Asia, half the children work, sometimes from the age of four. Africa's the same. And in Latin America, there's an issue too. Well, let's see what we get if we mark every region of the world where children work. Yes, even today there are children working all over the world. It's estimated there are 250 million. 250 million! Children aren't meant to be working. They're meant to learn. And prepare their future. And play! Yeah! You're absolutely right, children. Yet a little over a century ago, many children were working in mines and factories, even in our own country, sometimes for as much as 16 hours a day. This is what your life might have been like before Jules Ferry made education free and compulsory. Sadly, child labor still goes on in many countries because of the poverty there. Each year they organize a World Children's Congress to combat child exploitation. Why don't we attend? And we can start looking for ways to end child labor. We could prepare a report and then present it there. <laughs> we'll split the preparation work. <laughs> oh, work! That's not really our thing. <laughs> ah! Hi, C. Hi, Piro. I'm Asan. Hi, Asan. at the end of the alley. Are you planning to shoot video? Of course. We need the evidence. Good to go. <sighs> we have to be careful. These people won't like you filming them at all. Yeah, I did, but I didn't finish. We'll have to go back. Employing children costs four times less than employing adults. Child labor 
labor also means more money for the retailers. That's an excellent report, children. And do you know who we showed it to? Naturally, the CEO of the big corporation was furious. If consumers found out that the footballs were being made by children, no one would buy them anymore. But in the end, he pretty much did the right thing. Want to see what he agreed to? By threatening the brand image of a large corporation, we just knew we could get them to do something. In this case, to protect the children. Yes, well done there. Big companies that play the game can use their respect of children's rights as part of their sales pitch. Even if their motives aren't completely selfless, they are at least starting to see some common sense. But we must all become responsible consumers and always check the origin of all the products we buy. No. Nope, not that one, darling. Have this one. That's also the aim of fair trade, providing the buyer with a guarantee that the product isn't made by children like this one. <laughs> mm. And you, Simon, what have you found out then? I'm looking at a kind of job that's done mainly by girls. There's not much talked about, that of domestic servants or maids. There are millions of them all over the world. They're the first to get up and the last to go to sleep. Their workday can last 16 hours. They clean, make meals, look after children. Can you clean that? It's all part of their job. <laughs> They're kind of invisible workers who don't show up in the official statistics. They're difficult to protect, and what happens to them depends on the will of their employers. Yeah, but it's an easy job. A bit of housework's not gonna kill you. What did you say? You think household chores aren't hard? Right, let's see then. Uh, what? what? Oh. And while Grimbo and Buster are trying their hand at child labor, uh -huh. let's have a look at how Jumbo and Petra got along in Santo Domingo. They're taking the cane cutters to the field. Follow me. They're 8 to 15 years old. They work seven days a week from sunrise to sunset. They have one meal a day. They're watched by guards. Hush. Those guys are ruthless. They don't mess around. We've got to take him to the medical center. There's no medical center. At least not yet. Here you are. This is where the kids sleep. With no water, sanitation, or electricity, it's not normal living like this. This can't go on. Well, we are doing something about it. Come on, I'll show you. The future dormitories for the little sugarcane harvesters with a medical center and classroom, all thanks to UNICEF and its child protection programs. Oh, what an improvement. But the children are still going to carry on working? They've been sold by traffickers from Haiti. Many of them have no family to speak of, but we've already made lots of progress. And 
today, we're meeting to sign an unprecedented new agreement achieved thanks to UNICEF. Want to read it to the children? Charter of rights applicable to each young sugarcane cutter. Henceforth, you will now have the right to work in complete safety and to work reasonable hours. You have the right to rest when sick. You have the right to be respected, listened to, to receive medical treatment, to learn to read and write, to freedom of expression and association, and to fair justice. We're finished, and we're tired out. Uh, just three hours of housework, and you're already exhausted? What about the dusting? You haven't done the dusting. Uh, well, we're just making a stand against the exploitation of children. <laughs> <laughs> we really have to expose this child labor scandal. And the domestic maid issue. Lobby big companies. All against, against children, children doing low paid housework. housework. All against okay. children doing low paid housework. Okay, our presentation for the World Children's Congress is ready. That's great, children, that's great. I don't believe it! Our presentation! We've only uh. forgotten to include one of the worst forms of exploitation of children. What, what is that? Is that? So what have we forgotten to include in the report? I bet you haven't included housework. It's child soldiers, children fighting in wars. C's right. It's one of the worst forms of child exploitation in the whole world. Children used as fighters in wars. There are an estimated 300,000 of them worldwide. You know, regional wars have claimed many lives, especially in Africa. And as the armed factions don't have enough men, they find children to fight their battles. But it's forbidden to send children to war. Yes, the recruitment of children under 18 and using them for military ends constitutes a war crime, but the actual law is rarely enforced. Doesn't anyone do anything? Oh yes, of course they try. But the task is huge. Not only do we have to prevent children from being enlisted, those who have been in a war also need help. Why don't you go and take a look? You know, this car could use a really good service. Oh, move up! But it's you who should be moving up! You big... What? Oh, what? I'm a big what? Don't you ever get bored of squabbling? Well, he started it. There's no one around here. Uh, that's because it must be siesta time. But very often in wartime, tens of thousands of people often flee other regions or other countries or to refugee camps to escape the fighting. That's what's happened here. It looks like life's been put on hold. Hey, hey, it's okay. You've nothing to fear. My name is Allie. We're going to Goma. You want to hit your ride with us? Hey, hi. <laughs> My name's Solomon. <laughs> As if it wasn't crowded enough before. We're gonna visit the Red Cross Transit and Orientation Center in Goma. We want to speak out against the use of children in the war here. And you? Where are you going? My brother, Salifu, was taken away two years ago by a band of militia. I'm looking for him. Ooh. I'm visiting all the centers where ex-child soldiers go. I'm sorry? How did it happen? Come on! This will make you real men! That's right! It will make you rich and respected. My brother Salifu didn't want to go with them. They came back. They needed more children. And this time, they took them by force.
They didn't take me because I'm lame. Then the war reached our village. My whole family migrated west like all the others to escape the looting. So even if my brother went back to the village, there'd be no one there. That's why I'm looking for him. That's one of the great problems for ex-child soldiers. Sometimes it takes them years to find their families again. That's if their families want them back at all. But these child soldiers have been to war, have killed. So they have a bad reputation even if it's not their fault. Children aren't born violent. They only turn violent when adults make them that way. You're doing a great job, Salomon. We are right behind you. Oh, they thought it was gunfire. That's a typical local reflex. So hi there, Tissa. How are you this morning? Tissa uses her drawings to express what she can't say using her words. She hasn't spoken since she escaped from the rebel group that abducted her. Hi there, Tisa. My name is C, and this is Allie. So this is our classroom. Our center works to rehabilitate child soldiers, but we especially try to restore their confidence in adults and themselves. I'm looking for my brother, Salifu. Salifu? Sorry, young man. There's nobody here by that name. Oh, poor Salomon. Lots of children haven't been freed yet. But why, if the war's over? Well, rebel groups are still wreaking havoc and looting villages to survive or make money. So they keep the children to help them. Perhaps Salifu's with one of those groups. I'm heading south to try another center. You'll find Salifu, I'm sure of it. Thank you, all of you. Salifu was in the same brigade as me. Are you sure it was him, Tisa? Salomon, wait there. Tisa told us your brother's being held by rebels in a village in the forest where she escaped from. Could you please take me to the camp? We have to help Salomon. Yeah, this is a real opportunity. Please help him, Tisa. Hmm. We'll have to take the safe paths where there's no danger, but okay. Yeah! <sighs> you know, we haven't backfired once since we left. I think our little apprentice mechanic friend has taken a look at the car. Maestro, it's Peter. Send us the globe, please. We're gonna need it very soon. I said we should have turned right. I'm not going one step further. Me neither, and we should have gone left.
my brother. I'm going to get closer. That's not a good idea. Be patient. If he's there, you'll see him soon enough. Tomorrow we attack Boca. Don't forget, we're invincible. Thanks to my magic pearls, no enemy can ever beat us. It's Salifu. I see Salifu. Hey there, Salifu. Salimon. Salifu, I've come to get you. Go away, Salimon. I can't leave. If I do, our whole family will be in danger. But the war's over, Salifu. We've left the village. There's no way they can find us. What about all the others? I'm not alone. I'm on guard tonight. Can I try and get the others to escape with me? Are you kidding? We're already lost in the forest. If they catch us, we're history. Tell your brother that's fine. As for getting out of the forest, I may have an idea. Ah, what's happening? Men, get up! Stop them! Quick! Inside! Get inside! Thank you to you all. I won't ever forget what you have done. It's all because of him. So you should really thank your big brother. He'd have done anything to find you. Oh, hi there, Tisa. <laughs> Salomon and Salifu's story will have pride of place in our report. All the world's governments have to act now. Solutions exist. As we have just shown one more time. But what we need now is for those in charge to decide to act. With what it costs to run the world's armies for just a few days, we could stop all child labor everywhere. You ladies and gentlemen do have the power to act. Yes, you must give all the young people on the planet, without one single exception, a world where they can enjoy their youth. should ever be sent to war again. Sustainable development also means protecting children who will shape the world of tomorrow. Thank you very much.